Helen Dudney, she is the consumer champion, the complaining cat, and friend to the show. Uh, and you can explain all of this to us. Um, first of all, as Eamon was saying, you know, what exactly is British Gas provide us with? It provides us with our energy, obviously, but the vampire um, uh, appliances, they're saying that if you leave them plugged in, that they're still taking some power, even if they're turned off. But they're taking some power from the from the socket, if you meaning like. like what my TV, for instance. So yes, yeah, certainly if you've got it on standby, but even if you've got it off, it might still be taking some. Your washing machine, your microwave, leaving your phone on charge, even when it's finished charging. But what they're saying is it's an average of £147 a year. But actually, ask them for the evidence on how they got that, and it's uh -huh. a little bit more difficult to get. Yes. Uh, okay, but by and large, the principle. We can see what they're talking about here. The question is, could you be bothered? Well, no, because I was reading that one of the energy vampires is the clock on your microwave or the clock on your oven. But we've all lived through power cuts, haven't uh. we? When you switch it back on, it's flashing at you and it's, you know, it's not actually giving you the time and it's infuriating. But imagine to do that every time you wanted to use your oven or your microwave. Are these really practical tips or are they actually just, you know, headlines for British gas? I think some of it is is British Gas sort of trying to deflect mm. the problem. Actually, what people want to see is money put back in their, in their accounts and to lower the, lower the bills. And it does make it look like, oh, you can do so much. Well, actually, you can't because, you know, if you think that and on average you have the kettle on for just over 60 hours a year, some of us more, um, and that costs about £25 a year, leaving it on the whole time is not... You know, it's pennies. We are talking yeah. pennies mm. each time. Do you know, After the um, pennies, though, and the pounds will take care of them. Well, or you could just be more desperate and you talk about what I was alluding to before the break because I misunderstood uh, what we meant by energy vampires here. There are so many um, devices on offer where you can just bypass your main energy supplier, be it, uh, I think, m mostly electricity. You know what I'm talking about here. It's like people who get cards to to pirate um, satellite television stations as well. Obviously, you're looking at me blankly I have here. no idea. This is, well, I tell you, I'm telling you, I'm being quite serious here. This is a real culture. This is a real culture, and the energy companies will come and tell you this, that people are arrested and, and, and mm. people for years have, have got some sort of, you know, connection or whatever it is that bypasses the, uh, the main grid. Basically, right, right, right. but uh, any, anyway, but I, I so think that would be illegal. So that's why I wouldn't. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I don't do criminal. You don't do criminal, <laughs> but I, but I, what I think about criminal is that there's more people. When we talk about if you unplug this, if you unplug that, whatever it is, or uh, says Johnny Rotten, if you buy my cable off me and, and we fit this, you'll save yourself 500 quid a year. It becomes more attractive. Yeah, I there is more of a temptation. I'm sure. Yeah, to temptation. Break the law. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm more in touch with the uh, criminal with the underground dark side. Well, the dark side. <laughs> uh, but um, not that I've been offered one, but I know people who, who have been. So what would you say then, Helen, all about this then? So these energy vampire devices then. So do you think, I mean, I know um, I could not be bothered walking around switching off, as Isabel said, resetting the clock again and, and doing all that thing. I mean... Do you think it is a significant amount of money that if you did take this seriously, you could save? I don't think it's as significant as £147 a year. You know, what, what devices are they basing that on? Are they basing that on a 20-year-old television, you know, and a 20-year-old yeah. sort of washing machine, whereas actually appliances are more efficient now? Um, so I think it, you, you can save, but actually, you know, charging your phone... Uh, overnight and leaving it charged is probably doing more damage to your battery. Yes, than actually, yeah. anything else. And you're then going to have to buy a new battery for your phone. So actually, that's that's a better reason for turning yeah. your and charging. Also, phone the way day. a lot of kitchens are, are built, you have an appliance under a shelf. Yes, and, you can yeah. have an on-off switch at the front, but you cannot reduce the yeah. power, uh, which is buried behind in your built-in I've built got one of those years. instant hot water taps, which I love because I don't have to boil mm. a kettle and I drink a lot of tea and coffee. But they are terrible, I'm sure, for energy. Yeah, they will be. They will be using using a lot, but um, and there isn't you know anything you can do necessarily yeah. to, about that. Um, but there are you know you can if you're trying to save all those little pennies, then that you do want to be sort of yeah. turning things off. But it and is, people are desperate for this. Yeah. They're desperate yeah. to put things across. I suppose it's also about you know putting plugs into into you know an extension lead and actually just turning that one off so you're not unplugging four every night. So you know if it's got your yes. television and your computer, well, that's a good so idea. long as you're not overloading, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. is then causing another problem. Well, look, maybe you've got advice of your own or experience of your own about what actually um, uh, bleeds 
the energy dry in your house, please do let us know. GB views at gbnews.uk or tweet at GB News because, as we say, um, this is the people's channel. You are the people who are suffering. You are the people who have the ideas.